that Independence Day, the game for PlayStation, isn't that bad of a game. Basically, I wanted to do this because, uh, this guy called the Angry Video Game Nerd, I'm sure you might have heard of him on Face, um, on, excuse me, uh, YouTube. He basically does all these, like, rants for, like, games and stuff, and he's always picking apart them. And, um, apparently, I saw one of his reviews, and it had to do with this game right here, and he said it was really bad. And, uh, I think it's okay, actually. You know, it's it's not that bad. I mean, it, to me, I think it looks great. Like, right now I'm in New York, and this looks like New York. And there's the Empire State Building, and on my left, there's that radar. And right there, it shows this looks just like New York. I mean, come on. So, honestly, I think he's wrong about it. He said that the flying was okay. I think the flying is great. I mean, it's really close to the movie, even a little bit better than the movie, like, but what I mean by that is, the story, I mean, they showcase a lot of different things in the story, I mean, they give you more than you ask for, like, in the movie, you really don't know that much about the aliens, like, for instance, like, when you go into, when they go into the mothership, you see all those, like, little ships and everything flying around, you know, with, uh, Jeff Goldblum and Steve, what's his, uh, uh excuse me, um, Will Smith, they're in there, you see all those like little ships? Those little ships, they actually tell you what those are in this game. Now I can discover that, because in the movie, they never said. So I want to know what those little ships are. I'm not talking about the stolen alien aircraft, I'm talking about those little, those little, you know, ships. Just watch the movie, you'll see what I mean. But, uh, yeah, basically this game is pretty fun. Um, but... Many people, like my friend Bart, back at my college, he uh, he watches uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd, and um, he always follows him. Oh shoot, I died. He always follows him and everything, and uh, I gotta say, some of his reviews, they I don't like to follow because he's not right about everything. I mean, this is a perfect example right here. I mean, look at that intro right there. That's that's pretty awesome. For a PlayStation game. This came out in like around maybe 97, maybe 96 when the movie came out. So I gotta say, this game is pretty good. Angry Video Game Nerd, you're wrong.